any challenges with that. Okay. Now, uh, let me ask you my final question. There's also a growing perception that wrongdoing, um, the president is not interested in punishing wrongdoing in this country. And the Ayawasu West will go on violence has been put forward as an example. Why haven't the people who participated in the violence in the Ayawasu West will go on by election been punished yet? Which people and what was the recommendation for punishment that has not been executed? I mean, we saw a video of a young man. As per video, you can see, but there was a commission of inquiry. Assaulting, punishing, Don't worry, there was a commission of a inquiry. A sitting member of parliament. If I may. So what was the recommendation which has not been implemented? Then we can get into the specifics. You tell us why government... No, you're asking you, the you, question. Because I saw the government are, white paper on yes, it. Yes, you're asking the question. The question, I'm sure, is based on something. That there's a recommendation you have seen, which recommendation you are not sure has been implemented. And so I'm looking for clarity. Which recommendation has not been implemented that you want to ask specifically about? I want you to speak specifically to the young man who slapped a sitting member of parliament. What was the recommendation? Because I think that we have to go back to the report, look at the recommendations... Go to the white paper, look at the uh, position on the recommendations, and then we can now have a conversation about, is there some outstanding matter? In the absence of that, um, we will be having what some may call a sentimental conversation that we saw this video, this wasn't good, etc. But what did the commission find? What was the white paper comment on that particular finding? And is there any outstanding matter? I think when we have those specifics, we can go into it. But because you mentioned we are coming to the end of our conversation, let me... Um, um, uh, Put, put, put a summary to my submissions this morning. On COVID, we are generally making progress. We need people to support us. As we get ready for the election, we have an opportunity to compare the two leading candidates. Um, has President Akufuado served well over this period? Generally, there are criticisms about his corruption record. I've explained to you the part